Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary. I live in Indiana with my husband Nick and our two Boston Terriers, Albert and Edie. And today, I think I may have found the perfect vlogging bag for like Disney parks and things. So stick around, let's see how well this works out. <laughs> guys, if you've been here for a little while, you probably know that I've been on the hunt for the perfect vlogging bag. My camera has a huge fluffy microphone on it. I'm currently using Rode Video Micro. The video might look a little different right now because I'm using my Canon, my big giant Canon, because I want to show you guys how well this with the giant microphone, which is currently on my Canon, will fit in this new bag that I got. Mm -hmm. So, I think Target oh, might have come to save the day. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so this is it. It's very petite. I like that the top kind of opens up like a lunchbox kind of style, but the super cool thing and the thing that made me buy this, aside from the size being right, <laughs> is that it's a backpack unless you want to have it as a sling and then you just pull the straps up and it becomes like a crossbody bag. How cool is that? So I think the multi-functionality of this is a really awesome uh, selling point but then also I did measure <laughs> my camera with the microphone on it and I looked at the measurements of this bag and I think that it's gonna fit like in there the way that I want it to. So we'll see. Let's take a look at the bag. I love all the gold details. The buckles are also gold. Since I'm using the big cannon, I do apologize if there's a bunch of background noise because of the focusing. That's why I don't use this camera very much. But I wanted to be able to put my camera with the microphone in the, in the bag to see if it'll actually work. It's for science. <laughs> All right. So, nice big opening. There is a zipper pocket in here. That's the manufacturer. There's also a little regular kind of pocket in there. You know what I mean. I will say it's a little bit like flimsy. So we'll see how that goes. One thing, you've probably seen this video. I was uh, reviewing this Loungefly Mini Canvas backpack and I love it so, so much. But a backpack is not as convenient as um, like a crossbody type bag for vlogging in the parks. I wanna be able to easily access, just put it in, take it out. That's it. With a backpack, obviously it's on your back so you have to remove it, open it, get stuff out put it back together, put it back on your back. So I wanted something more um, easily accessible, which is why I've been on the hunt. But I will say that this canvas is like super sturdy. It definitely like, it, it will stand up by itself even without paper in it. We'll see how this bag does. But so far I like it. And it's made with at least 90% recycled polyester. So that's cool. And it was $19.99. So not very expensive, really nice small petite size. I can put my extra batteries and SD cards and things in that zipper pocket, that'll be great. So the things that need to fit into this are my cell phone gimbal, my cell phone, which is an eight plus, and my camera with the microphone on it. So I'm gonna take that microphone off. The audio might get a little bit less great. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. All right, so it, it does sit up by itself, but it's not quite as strong. This is the big fluffy microphone. Just gonna put this guy on the bottom. And then that guy in there. That makes it nice and stable. It stands up pretty well. All right. Let's see. 
It does, it does fit. Wow, that's awesome. So I just stuck it in this way in the hopes that I could just, you know, reach in and grab it when I'm using it as a bag. It's a little sticky. I wish these were like farther apart, they're kind of pretty close together. So it makes it a little bit awkward right there, but it's, it's okay. My microphone is stuck. So this is pretty floppy. It's not as like sturdy as the um, canvas backpack would be, but it's still good. I also wanted to try putting a pin on here. I'd say this is kind of a win. Let's make it back into a backpack and try it that way. It's so little, it's very light. It fits everything. The only complaint I have really is that it's very floppy, but I do really like the design. But everything that I like actually need seems to fit in here. And I'm really surprised that my camera did. I measured, I'm not super surprised, I measured my camera with the microphone and I looked at the measurements of this bag and it seemed like it would work. And it really kind of does, which is cool. So you can put your ibuprofen in the back pocket. Again, I wish the fabric was a little more stiff. It was like slightly difficult to zip the top without like holding it. I don't know, I think this is a really good option. I really liked having the pin up here. I think that's super cute. Like if you were gonna go pin trading, you could put all of your pins up here and just whip them out when you need to trade them and stuff. I don't know. I think it's very cute. They have multiple colors. I'll link this below if you want to see. A really nice option. And I also love that it allows you to make it a crossbody or a backpack, which is super handy. Who knew Target would have a really, really good option? I, I like it so much. I do just wish that the fabric was more stiff. Like this canvas is really sturdy. Like there's paper in there right now, but even when you like set it down without paper in it, it's it stands up. Um, this one also stands up, but when you're wearing it, it kind of sags a little. So I'll try and test it out before I go on another trip, which who knows when that'll be, so no worries there. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, please give a thumbs up. If you did not find it helpful, give a thumbs down. <laughs> if you want to comment, uh, I'd love to read your comments. And if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.